So today, we're talking about arcs and angles of a circle. So first, there are three types of arcs. We have a, what's called a semicircle, which is arc P, R, H, and you have to go in the order of points. So you start with P, you go to R, and you go to H, and that's half a rotation of a circle, which is equal to 180 degrees. So a semicircle is always equal to 180 degrees, an arc of 180 degrees. That's not the length of it. Length of it. That's just how how this arc is. A ma major arc is greater than half a rotation. So if I go to P to H to M See how this arc is bigger than this semicircle arc? So that's called a major arc and a minor arc and a minor arc is less than half a rotation. So it's less than 180 degrees. So this arc we have right here would be arc CH. Or you can do HC, it doesn't matter. So this arc right here, which is less than a semicircle arc. So now we have what's called a central angle. And a central angle has its vertex at the center of a circle and its measure is equal to the measure of its minor arc. So if this angle equals 50 degrees then this arc right here and it's a minor arc because it's um, less than half a rotation so the measure of arc LK is 50 degrees. Now that only works with central angles so don't try and use that principle for any other kind of angle, only a central angle. So now we're going to find the indicated measures. So they want the measure of arc CD or DC. So since we know we know that B is the center of the circle So this angle DBC is a central angle, so that means this arc is equal to the measure of the central angle. So arc DC is equal to 51 degrees. Now they want the measure of DB, which is this arc right here. Now if you think about it, this line right here, DB, is the diameter of the circle. So if I go from D all the way to the other side of the circle on B, I've completed half a rotation. So this um, arc right here is a semicircle. So that means its measure has to be 180 degrees. Now they want me to find this part, just this section of the arc, arc CB. Well, if you remember those rules we had about segments, where you could add the parts to find the total, or subtract one of the parts to find the other part, well we can do the same thing here. Since this big arc CDB is 180 degrees, and this smaller arc right here is 51 degrees, we can minus 51 degrees from 80 degrees to find out what just this arc equals. So we're just going to call that x. So 180 degrees minus 51 degrees is 129 degrees. So the arc length of CB, or the arc of CB is 129 degrees. Now they want this arc right here, AB. Well, if you look, CBC is a DBC is a central angle. AB. Oh, that should have been point E right there. 
Let me just change that. I had two point Bs for a second. Okay, so we want, so DBC is a central angle and ABE is a central angle. So that means that this arc is equal to this angle. Well, if you look at these two angles right here, they are vertical angles. And if you remember our rule about vertical angles, they have the same measure. So the measure of this angle is 51 degrees. Now, because this is a central angle, that must mean that the measure of AE is also 51 degrees. Now, they want us to find the measure of DA. So, we're going to do the same thing we did to find the measure of CE. So, DA is part of this big arc DE, which is equal to 180 degrees. So we can take 180 degrees minus this piece right here, which is 51 degrees, and we'll get 129 degrees equals x. Which makes sense if you think about it, because these two angles right here are also vertical angles, so they have to have the same measure. So that's all we're going to do with arcs and angles today. But make sure you come back when we talk about other kinds of angles of a circle.